Hi guys, one of the questions we get is, um, okay, I've quoted someone, I've put in the medications, now what, right? And so that's a valid question. So we're gonna look at uh, what do you do once you've quoted someone for their medications um, and how to filter those. So first thing you wanna do is make sure that you add some medications on here. So I'm just gonna add a pharmacy and you can add anyone you want. And then I'm just going to put some very expensive medications on here uh, that I know are really, really expensive and sometimes hard to get. So let me add these real quick. Okay, so now I've put in the medications, I've put in the pharmacy, uh, and I put some pretty well-known medications. So I'm going to save that. And now it's loading, it's thinking, it's taking all the information we put as, as, uh, as far as the medications and the pharmacy. Um, that we put on here and now it's recommending some plans. So you'll see here that it recommends the devoted core plan because their annual cost will be $966. So that's important to, to find out as far as what the cost is. Uh, the next choice would be Clover plan, choice PPO with 1,004, with those three medications we put, Sclan, uh, at 1,020, Humana Gold Plus at 1,033. It's important to note that these in blue are uh, carriers that I'm certified with and contracted and can actually enroll through Simply Enroll versus these in this tan color. Um, I am not. And so you'll see the little red uh, little exclamation point there letting you know it does, that you can enroll, but it still gives you the number. Um, in this case, I can enroll with Devoted, I'm certified, but I can't do it through Simply Enroll. So it's still giving you the information that's vital. So I can say, hey, this is, a, without looking at doctors, this is a good plan that we should be looking at because when we look at the details, these medications, if this was important, which it will be important to your client, metformin is a tier one, Zeralto is a tier three, Lantus is a tier three, and so that we can expect that in January, your metformin would be at no cost, your Zoralto would be $40, your Lantus would be $35. So they can expect to pay $75 a month, and they're still being their initial period. They're paying those uh, copays. So in this case, it's, it's most likely a $0 a drug deductible plan. And as you go through the months, I always like to do this for my clients is just kind of scan through this to make sure they don't hit the coverage gap, which it doesn't look like they will just because it's all initial on here. And so this would be a good, oh, here it is actually. I take that back. Here in October, they'll hit the gap. And so you'll see the price jump from 75 to $97. And then you'll see it says gap. They've hit the gap period. And you'll see $97 gap. And at the end of the year, still $97. So not a huge jump. Uh, this tells me that this plan has some, a good drug plan uh, embedded into here. You'll notice a $0 drug deductible. Um, and Walgreens is a good uh, plan for them. So uh, through Walgreens, through their pharmacy. Um, but let's say they say, no, I, I don't want this devoted. I've never heard of it. Um, you know, uh, maybe I, I'll, I'm willing to switch pharmacies, but not willing to go through uh through um, through devoted, so uh, you know sometimes I like to switch the pharmacy and see if I can save them a little bit more money. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, in this case, I've switched the pharmacy to Walmart now. Devoted is still coming on top, but you'll notice some of these changed. Uh, before it was Scan uh, Clover. Now look, the Amerigroup Choice PPO is now on here as one of the top ones. Humana now comes a little bit further down. Um, so sometimes I like to play with the pharmacies with the client uh, involved there. So let's just say they say, okay, well, that's great, but does my doctor accept it? Okay, well, who's your doctor? Now I'm, I'm putting in the names of doctors to help me know what they um, if, the, if they accept it or not. So here I'm just going to put in Dr. Paray. She's a local doctor. I'm going to add it and see what she accepts from here. Now it's thinking. And it will tell you what do um, doctors are doing. In this location, it says no locations in network. Um, you'll notice when it says that versus, let me look here, in network. Um, that should tell you that the um, this one makes sense out of all the other ones. Now, I will caution you to double check this. 
if it is a big difference, to go to directly to Devoted's website. I know for a fact that uh, Dr. Pere accepts Devoted at this current moment. Um, so that would be something I checked. Look at Scan, her doctor is sex. So now you can actually compare Scan and Humana, because it looks like that one was in there. You see how it says it's green, it's lit up. You can actually compare those two because those are two good choices. Usually I like to do three um, just to kind of put in there the top three that the doctor accepts. So in this case, it would be no for Cigna, no for United. Um, we could do a PPO options just to kind of uh, make this a little bit easier. Um, I think I saw here. So yep, she should be in here. And so we can hit compare. And then you just want to hit the drug cost details, and you can actually see the estimated angle that her doctor accepts. And obviously, you can add more doctors. Um, I would be looking at the scan because her doctor accepts it. Um, you know, it's the cheapest option. Now, if she doesn't want to go with a small carrier, then Humana makes a lot of sense, right? And it's not a huge jump um, compared to other ones. But you'll see what tier levels they fall in, what you know where they are are at. They all look to be the same. Um, most likely uh, just a little bit more expensive on some versus other ones. So you'll see going through it, just like I showed you before, kind of going through the process. Okay, $77, $70. Um, that's how they get to that amount on here until they hit the gap. That's how they get the estimate. So that's what I do. And then I, I make a recommendation based off this. I would say scan. Um, again, if they say, no, I've never heard of that, then I'm going to Humana Gold Plus, either a PPO or an HMO depending on the client's needs um, and letting them know your doctors and network. And this is what your the most cost effective route uh, to go based off of your medications. Cause if we see, if we wanted to put them on United healthcare, it's more expensive. Their doctor's not in network uh, and it's more expensive than the uh, most um, beneficial like 966. So if cost is important to your client, this is what we're looking at. Obviously, if the client tells me, no, I need to have United Healthcare, um, then I just let them know what they can expect, go through the same process with the details, um, and, and go from there. Well, I hope this helps. Thank you.